Uh, they call me uh, Camelo. That's my capoeira name with Raiz do Brasil, a capoeira group here in LA, based out of uh, Brasilia. I'm also known as Jimmy Lazama, and I like bicycles a lot. Excellent. Now, I know you, uh, because of an ancient claim to fame, that you started the Bicycle Kitchen. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. You want to tell me just two seconds about that? Uh, I made lots of pizza. Uh, some people brought beer, and bicycles were made, and now there's a shit ton of bicycles in L.A. It's really beautiful. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, yeah. You want to tell me a thing or two about Capoeira and how it relates to public space on a day like today? Ooh. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I can say so much about that. Um, when you... When Capoeira started uh, in, in Brazil, it was seen as an Ill illegal activity because um, it, it, uh, it was too public, it was too, too wild, it was too feral for some of the more um, civilized people. Um, when Mestre Bimba organized around Capoeira and brought it in and gave it a little more structure, you saw how how beneficial the activity is, but it did never lost its uh, its uh, public domain. It's still a very public activity. In the same way, I think that the ciclovia may seem wild to a lot of people uh, who only use cars to get around or rely on that mode. But when you give it a little more structure, you see the amazing benefits it is to have this as public domain. Uh, you see, obviously, people here biking and and uh, walking and running and walking their dogs and skating and and just chilling out and it's, uh, it's reclaiming that space but also legitimizing it and in a sense uh, taking what seems was been made into an illegal thing to ride your bike out here and do such things in the middle of the street and giving it back to who it belongs to and not people not cars <laughs> excellent yeah. so uh, tell me what about you're about to do so uh, I, I, uh, I, I didn't hear anything going on with uh, Ciclovia in regards to a kids ride or anything like that. So I organized with a few folks to, uh, to get that going. So we got a thing called the Midday Riders going. And we got kids and families out of here to, to uh, support the Ciclovia. But then I also saw that we needed like a little more just pedestrian activity. So I got uh, my group of capoeiristas to come and hang out and, and just walk and play music and, uh, and feel the vibe of the street out here. Um, and so we're going to go to MacArthur Park and meet up with the other group that walked from the other end. Uh, we're going to go over there and play cop with them and hopefully get some good uh, energy and that shit going for, for, this, for this big, wonderful, beautiful, great event. I'm really impressed by how many folks that showed up for this first time event. And there's a lot of smiles everywhere. It's, it's really what it's supposed to be. And there's people who are under three feet tall on bikes and that's even better than anything, I think. <laughs> you think any kids showed up for your kid ride? I unfortunately was here for the capoeira thing, but I hear there's quite a few kids. I'm just kidding. I was there and there was like hundreds, hundreds awesome. of children. Awesome. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. That, that, I expected 30, 30 heads at each side, but my trailer's bigger than your trailer. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, how much you can carry. <laughs> awesome. But just the stereo system, man. Some what? Oh, really? Okay, cool. Awesome. Sweet. We'll be over at the, uh, we're going to be over at MacArthur Park. We set up over there. Yeah, perfect. We'll meet you over there, brother. Hey, thanks for the interview, Jimmy. Absolutely.